Magandang araw. My name is Erwin Abangan uh, with the trainer of Wealth Academy IMG. Uh, especially here, uh, we're based in Pampanga and of course and in Cebu. Ang training natin sa araw na ito is learning how to grow your investments and also how to uh, plan for your solid financial foundation. Okay? So, these are the training highlights. Ito yung mga expectations natin or ninyo na nakikinig ngayon kung ano yung mga matutunan ninyo sa training na ito. Una, you will discover the power of the rule of 72. May sikreto or formula ang investments. So, pag-usapan natin mamaya yan ang tinatawag na rule of 72 at sino naman yung nakadiscover sa formula na yan. Pangalawa, pag-usapan natin yung ano ba yung mutual funds versus stock market. Marami kayong maririnig na nag invest sila sa stocks. Minsan, pag tinanong mo kung how does the stock market work, hindi nila ma-explain ng maayos. Or minsan, naririnig mo na nalulugi sila pagdating sa investments. Okay? Pag-usapan natin yan. At hindi sa pagtapos ng training na ito, matutunan yung mga bagay na yan. Okay? Also, pag-usapan natin yung types of investment risk. Ang pag invest meron ba siyang panganib? Pwede bang malugi ako? Pwede, or, or pwedeng kikita na lang parati? Or meron bang time na pwedeng mag-close yung mga kumpanya? Or malugi yung investments? Pag-usapan natin yan. Kasi common yung mga questions na yan ay pagdating sa investments. Ang apat, kailan ba ako dapat mag-invest? And paano ko ba monitor yung aking investment? Pag sinabing uh, NAVS or NAVPS, yun yung term or ibig sabihin net asset value per share. So ipapaintindi ko sa training na ito kung ano ibig sabihin at paano mo siya i-monitor at kung saan. Pag-usapan din natin on how to create an emergency fund from the word emergency ay talagang napaka-importante. Na pagdating sa emergency, meron tayong fund. Paano? Magkano? Gano kalaki yung fund na dapat meron ako to prepare for emergency? Pag-usapan din natin how to increase cash flow. Madalasan, iniisip pagdating, ng, pagdating sa usapang pera, ay gusto talagang pang malakihan agad. Gusto niya na mabilis para ma-achieve yung mga pangarap sa buhay. Sa sobrang bilis, yun, sobrang bilis din na wala. Okay? Uh, nag, ano, sa loto, tapos, ano pa ba, pumasok sa mga scams, pumasok doon sa mga, ano, double your money in one month or double your money in three weeks. Ayan, pag-usapan natin yan, how to avoid those kind of scenarios and how to prepare if nalugi ka sa negosyo mo, nawalan ka ng trabaho, anong gamit ng emergency fund, anong gamit ng uh, ano, ano, discipline on how to increase your cash flow. Pag-usapan din natin yung importance of healthcare and life insurance. Maraming mga tao takot pagdating sa life insurance. Maraming tao hindi naghahanda pagdating sa sakit. Pagdating ng panahon, kumakamot sa ulo at sinasabi, sana pinagandaan ko yung mga ganitong uh, ano na, pangyayari sa buhay. Pag-usapan din natin how to get out of debt and how to follow the pattern of the wealthy. Ang mga mayayaman, lalong yung mayayaman, bakit ang mahirap, lalong nagihirap? Kasi merong pattern yung mga mayayaman. Okay? Pag-usapan natin yan. And how to become an expert. Pag sinabing how to become an expert, hindi ka naaasa sa mga agents, hindi ka naaasa sa mga brokers, hindi ka naaasa sa mga tao na gusto mag-handle ng pera mo. In IMG, tuturuan ka on how to handle your money and how to be an expert for your own self and for your own family. And of course, most especially how to have direct access to the big companies in the Philippines. Okay? And how to top the financial industry. Sino ba si IMG? Pag-usapan muna natin itong World Financial Group. This is the mother company of IMG in US and in Canada. 36 years to 37 years na yung kumpanya na ito. Okay? An Aegon company. So, the World Financial Group has the same mission has the same campaign in teaching financial education. Kaya may partner siya na tinatawag na Heartland Institute, empowering organizations and their people through financial education. 
So, pwede nyo i-research sa Google. Sino ba yan si World Financial Group at sino naman yan si Heartland Institute? Here in the Philippines, it's IMG, International Marketing Group. Okay? Meron naman tayong programa that is teaching people about financial concepts and financial literacy. This is a school of financial education. Ang tawag naman sa program is Wealth Academy. So, you're listening to me right now and this is the pre-orientation of the Wealth Academy program. And you will understand those things na sinasabi ko sa inyo. Okay? So, ang campaign natin for the next few years until 2020 is to have 1 million financially educated families. And hopefully, you will be part of those people who are financially educated. Malamang nakikinig kayo sa, sa akin ngayon dahil uh, this is an online training. And at the same time, sa nakikinig sa office, uh, they are here. They're taking notes. They're focusing. Kung sakali nandyan ka sa bahay mo, nakikinig, or nasa office, sa recorded uh, na training na ito, you might be relaxed or pwede kang merong ibang iniisip habang nagiginig. Pero sabihin ko sa'yo, try to focus on the next 30 minutes to 45 minutes the things na sasabihin ko sa'yo. And I promise you, your life will never be the same again. And once you understand these things, I also encourage you to have an immediate action plan and how to start your financial plan. Let's go ahead and start. Let me introduce first the program that was passed in 2010 or the Financial Literacy Bill. So, magkikita mo yan sa YouTube. Type mo lang, Financial Literacy Bill, State of the Nation by Jessica Soho. 2010, pinasa ito. Nakatenga sa kamara for many years until it was approved noong August 27, 2015. It's called the Republic Act Number no. 10679. An act promoting entrepreneurship and financial education among Filipino youth. So, habang bata pa, tinuturuan na ng financial literacy. Kasi pag tumanda na, doon pa ituturo yung financial literacy, it might be too late. Okay? So, ang ating mga anak ngayon ay kailangang malalaman niya. Malalaman nila yung pamamaraan on how to handle your money. Una, kung ikaw ay parent ngayon na nagkikinig sa akin, ay kailangang maintindihan mo. Dahil paano mo ituro sa iyong mga anak kung hindi mo ito maintindihan? Okay? So, meron tayong ano, basis na na-approve itong Republic Act number 1069 financial bill. So, okay, nandyan sa baba yung mga link. And we're happy to know na na-approve siya. Okay? So, now let's move forward and discuss about investments. Okay? Sabi ko nga, i-discuss ko ngayon yung tiyatawag na rule of 72 by Albert Einstein. This is what we call the power of compounding interest. So, the rule of 72, ganito ang kanyang paraan. 72 divided by the interest equals the number of years to double your money. Ulitin ko, i-divide mo yung 72, kung ano ang kanyang interest, malalaman mo kung ilang taon to double yung iyong pera. Halimbawa, 30 years old ka ngayon, meron kang 10,000, nilagay mo siya sa savings account na 1% per year ang tubo or below, halimbawa na lang 1%, exact. Okay, maging 20,000 siya. Tanong, kailan? 72, i-divide mo siya ng 1 kasi 1% equals 72 years. Therefore, age 30 plus 72, at age 102, you will get your 20,000. Alright? Papayag ka na 20,000 na makuha mo 72 years from now. Kung hindi ka papayag, sa ganong tubo lamang, sa ganong katagal na panahon, maghanap ka ng mas mataas na interes. Halimbawa, 4%. Binigyan ka ng 4% interest sa time deposit. Okay? Sa rural bank. Okay? Or may mga mga big uh, banks that are giving 4% kung sinerte ka or kaibigan mo yung manager. But mostly, hindi naabot sa 4% ngayon. Nasa 1.5 to 2%. Kung million-million ang iyong pera. What if 100,000 ang iyong pera? Kaya halimbawa, binigay sa iyo ang 4% at age 29. Okay? Every 18 years, dodoble ang iyong pera based sa rule of 72 ni Albert Einstein. At age 47, 200 na yung pera mo. At age 65, 400 na yung pera mo. Mas malaki siya compared doon sa 1%. 
<clears throat> what you did not know, pagtalikod mo, okay? Pagtalikod mo doon sa kanya ng office at after, after kang pumerma, ita-transfer nila sa higher interest which is 12%. Every 6 years your money will double at age 29, ang 100,000 mo, okay? Maging 200 siya and other 6 years. So ilang 6 years yan at age 35, 6 years after 200 na. Another 6 years, 41 ka na. 400 na pera. Another 6 years, 47, 800. Another 6 years, 1.6. Another 6 years, 3.2. Another 6 years, 6.4 ang pera. Ang tanong, ang 6.4, mapunta ba sa'yo or hindi? Ang mapunta sa'yo, 400 lang. Kasi, ang pinermahan mo is only 4%. Ang kita nila sa 100,000, 36 years ago, is 6 million. Okay? Fair or unfair? Malamang ang sagot mo, unfair. Actually, it's just fair. Kasi pumirma ka dun sa 4%. Now, lesson learned. Ano naman ang prinsipyo dito? So, the next time around, you invest or save money, make sure you understand what you're doing. Kahit sa ano naman eh. Kahit sa trabaho, sa negosyo, sa paglalakad, sa pagkain. Kahit anong ginagawa mo sa relationship, you need to understand. Anong pinapasukan mo? Kasi in the end, ikaw rin naman, ikaw rin naman ang magkikinabang or ikaw rin ang magsasakripisyo or magsasuffer sa mga desisyon natin. Okay? Especially pagdating sa pera. That's what we call the cost of loss opportunity. Huwag mong sayangan yung pera, huwag mo rin sayangan yung time. Kung na-realize mo 36 years after na mali pala ang ginawa mo, sayang yung 36 years. Sayang pa yung pera, sayang pa yung 36 years. Kaya ngayon, sasabihin ko sa'yo, intindihin mo ito. Para hindi masayang yung pera, hindi rin masayang yung time. Don't just work hard for money. Learn how to make money work hard for you. In building your wealth, there are six steps to build a solid financial foundation. Again, investment is one of them. So kung ang sagot mo ngayon, Erwin, gusto ko lang talaga investments. Ayaw ko na marinig yung iba. Sabihin ko sa'yo, after ko explain sa'yo, magbabago yung iyong pananaw. Kasi ang financial planning, or katulad ng ano yan, pagtatayo ng building or bahay, hindi puro bubong lang. Hindi rin puro, uh, ano lang, puro foundation. Hindi lang puro yero. Hindi lang din puro haligi. Ang bahay, dapat kompleto. So to build a financial foundation, kailangan kompleto yung anim. From discipline to increase your cash flow, Get healthcare, protection, or insurance, get out of debt, have an emergency fund, then you can continue with your investments. So para maprotektahan yung iyong investments, kailangan meron tayong dapat na tamang foundation. Okay? Halimbawa, bakit ka ba mag invest Gusto mo ma-achieve yung mga ganito, ang status sa buhay. Gusto mo mag-retire ng mas maaga. Okay? You want to retire also your parents. You want to have a big house. You want to invest for your children's education. Pag nagkasakit ka, meron kang pera pang bayad sa hospital aside from your healthcare. Gusto mo rin ng kotse. Yan, isang kotse lang yan. Pero gusto mo iba-ibang kulay ng kotse, pwede rin naman. You want to travel around the world. Okay? You want to stop poverty. You want to pay off your debt. You want to be financially free. These are common goals why people want to invest. Without Proper preparation, pwedeng, ma, pwedeng hindi mo ma-achieve yung lahat na yan. Kasi lahat ng investment mo, i-withdraw mo, pang bayad doon sa hospital, pang bayad sa emergency. So pag tumanda ka na at nagre-retire ka na, kaya maraming tiyatawag, no? maraming mga matatanda na nag-retire in poverty. Because they did not expect that will happen to them. So where to invest? Let's talk about that. It depends on your investment goals. Short-term goals, short-term instruments. Long-term goals, invest in long-term instruments. Kung less than one year, kailangan mo yung pera mo, huwag mong nilagay sa long-term instrument. Lagay mo lang siya sa ATM or savings account. Bakit, Erwin? Sabi mo kanina, walang tubo. Yes, okay lang kahit walang tubo. Kasi kailangan mo yung pera mo in one year. Okay? So kung kailangan mo siya more than one year, bank time deposit, bond fund, or treasury bills, or treasury notes. Pero kung gusto mo mas long term, mas malaki ang kita, invest it in the stock market, in the mutual funds, and long term healthcare. Pag-usapan naman natin maya maya konti, anong magkakaiba niyan? Mutual fund? Ano din naman yung stock market? 
let's read this first, you know. Taking risks to reach your goal is something you need to do or something you want to do? That's a question you can ask yourself. mag invest ba ako? Kahit risky, kailangan ko bang gagawin yun? Or gusto ko lang gawin? Okay? So, depende yan sa, sa, ano, no, sa talagang sa reason mo. Halimbawa, kung gusto mo talagang yumaman dahil hindi ka pa mayaman ngayon, okay? maybe you need to do that. Okay? The, 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 the reason of doing that, it's a need. Okay? Pero pag mayaman ka na ngayon at gusto mo bang magpayaman, okay, maybe that is something you want to do to add on to, to your, um, ano, no, to increasing your money kahit mayaman ka na. But if you feel it's a need dahil gusto mong magpayaman, you will be in the right direction. Okay? So, pero kailangan mong intindihin yung risk-return trade-off. Limbawa, pag kumain ka, delikado bang kumain? Nagda-drive ka tapos walang tubig? Pwede. Pwede kang mabilaw ka. Tama? So, kain ng kain ka, wala ka namang ininom na tubig. So, wala kang dalang tubig. Delikado. Pwede rin ikakamatay mo yan. Pag naglakad ka rin naman, may risk din yun. Diba? Nagsiselfon ka, tumatawid ka, eh, biglang may sasakyan dumaan. Hindi mo in-expect na ag-go pala sila, ikaw naka-stop. Pwede ka rin masagasaan. It's still risky. Pag tulog ka, pwede ka rin hindi magising kinabukasan. It is also risky. Pagdating sa investment, you don't have to ask kung may risk because there's always a risk in everything. Sigurado ba, Erlon, yan? Pag nag-invest ako, yayaman ako, o hindi ako malulugi. Ang sasabihin ko lang sa inyo, you just need to understand it. When, how, and why are you investing? Okay? Because there's always a risk. Low risk, ito yung rule. Low risk, low return. High risk, high return. No risk, of course, no return. Simple, tama? So, ganun ang investments. Now, let's talk about mutual fund versus direct stock investing. Ang mutual fund, para kang pasahero sa aeroplano. Nakaupo ka lang, bumili ka ng ticket, tapos pagdating doon, upo ka lang. Tapos in the next few minutes or hours, makarating ka sa destination mo. Yan yung mutual fund investors. Tayo ay maglalagay lang ng pera sa investments, bahala na yung mutual fund company kung saan nila i-invest. Pero take note, hindi bahala na parang wala kang idea. Hindi katulad siya sabi na love. If love is blind, right? There's no such thing as love is blind. When you love someone, eh, kailangan intindihin mo ba't mo siya minahal. Ganon din pagdating sa investment. Ba't ka nag-invest? At saan mo in-invest yung pera mo? Through the mutual fund companies, they will give you feedback or ang tatawag doon, facts, facts and figures or it's called the, um, tawag nito. Oh, yeah. You can search it sa pifa.com.ph, facts and figures, uh, and you will see kung saan nila in-invest yung pera mo. Okay? Ang stock investing or direct investing ay in-invest. Okay? You're investing directly to the stocks. Ibig sabihin, para silang pilot. Kung hindi ka pilot, huwag kang magpa-pilot. Doon ka lang mag maging pasahero ka lang sa mutual fund. Pag direct investor ka, kasi magaling ka, at expert ka doon sa pagbimili ng mga stocks, ay you can go ahead and do that. Many people go directly to the stock without having expertise. Eh, delikado. So my recommendation is to go first to the mutual fund. Pag na-master mo na yan, again, you can go eventually to stock investing. Okay? Ang mutual fund is a pool of investors. So marami tayo, pwede tayo magsimula at 5,000 pesos each investor. Dati, 10 years, 20 years ago, may rapan ka mag-invest kasi hindi ganun kaliit yung startup. Pag nag-invest ka naman sa mutual fund, i-invest ni mutual fund sa stock market. As you can see sa illustration, ilalagay niya kay SM, Ayala, PLDT, normally sa top 10 holdings in the Philippines. Okay? So, ang tanong niyan, masure pa ba, ba yan compare sa aking negosyong sinimulan? Sabihin ko sa'yo, masigurado pa akong kikita kay SM at Ayala kaysa magsisimula ako ng sariling negosyo at magta-trial and error. Pero it doesn't hold you back from doing that. Kung gusto mo talaga mag-experience at uh, mag-experiment, you can go ahead. Especially kung passion mo naman ang magpagninegosyo. Ang sinasabi ko lang naman, balance it. Meron kang traditional business, meron ka rin investment sa mutual fund and stock market. So that partner mo sila yung malalaking kumpanya. Okay? 
Sabi nga dito, uh, sa $9 million club, don't trade but invest and invest for long term. So if you want to start right in investing, always think long term. Increase your financial IQ and invest long term. Huwag kang magtitrade. Sabi nga, trading is as good as you are gambling. Nagtitrade ka eh, nagtatiming-timing. But as an investor, huwag kang magtatiming. Malalaman mo lang yan araw-araw sa pifa.com.ph. Mamaya, pag-usapan natin paano mo i-monitor yung iyong investments. Basta, think about long-term investment. Okay? There's no short-term investment. Pag short-term, ang tawag mong savings, hindi investment. Now, how does mutual fund work? Ganito yan. If that is you, you go to the bank and the bank put your money in the stock market and mutual fund. Okay? So now, if the stock market earns 20%, ang earning mo lang nasa 1 to 2%. So we encourage you to be a shareholder or investor sa mutual fund. Pag ang stock market nag-earn ng 20%, lahat ng shareholder or investor will also earn 20%. Fair enough? Okay? So this, these are the classifications of mutual fund. Bond fund, balance fund, and the stock and equity fund. Okay? Let's focus on the stock and equity fund. Mas exciting ito, right? So, ito naman talaga ang ating focus sa discussion today. There are three scenarios in the stock market. There's a, a performance na pataas, pataas talaga, scenario A. Scenario B, bumaba tapos tumaas ulit. Scenario C, bumaba talaga ng husto tapos nung tumaas, hindi siya bumalik doon sa kanyang record high. Now, ang tanong dyan, kung mag-invest ka today, saan gusto mo mag-invest? Letter A, B, or C? Okay, let me discuss to you how it works. So, some companies listed in the Philippine Stock Exchange. Sabi ko kanina, ito yung mga kumpanya nakalista sa stock market. Nandiyan sila Ayala, sila SM, sila Jollibee, name it. You can find it. And these are just some of the companies. These are not all the companies. So, since hindi siya kakasya sa slide, so pinili ko na lang kung ano yung ilalagay ko dyan. Now, ang stock market, marami kang makikita ng numbers, no? Kung titingin ka sa website or pupunta ka doon sa Philippine Stock Exchange, pero ang tandaan mo lang, dalawang ano lang, dalawang color, green at saka red. Pag may nakikita kang mga red na number, ibig sabihin, bumaba yung market. Pag may makikita kang green, ibig sabihin, tumaas yung market. Ganun lang ka-simple. You don't have to memorize all those numbers. Kasi may mga website naman na pwede na mong puntahan na magkikita mo araw-araw. Magkano bang presyo? Okay, let's start from scenario A. Ang price niya is 10 pesos per share na nagsimula sa unang buwan. Yung bilog na anim stands for months. First month, second month, third month, to the sixth month. Six months. So ang pagbibili ng investment para kang bumili ng bigas per kilo. Sa so, investment naman per share. So, kung meron ka 100 pesos ngayon, binili mo siya sa 10 pesos per share, you can buy 10 shares. Second month, naging 12 pesos per share, ang mabili mo lang na share is 8.33 shares na lang. Bumaba. Tumaas ng third month, fourth month, fifth month, until the six months, tuloy-tuloy ang paglagay mo ng 100 pesos per month. Ang total shares na bili mo is 42.28 times 20 equals 845.60 minus 600 to 45.60. Kumita ka on the 6th month because marami kang shares na nabili. Okay? Kung tumaas yung market, syempre, tumaas din yung kanyang value. Ang pagkakaiba lang is kumukunti yung share mo habang bumibili ka nung tumaas yung market. Now, let's go to scenario B. Tandaan mo yung sagot no, sa letter A, 245.60. Pareho din sa letter B. What if ganito ang market? Okay? Ganito yung kanami, bumaba. Nagkakaroon ng mga bombing, nagkaroon ng problema, nagkaroon ng viral na sakit. Ang mga tao ayaw lumabas, ayaw punta ng mall. So, mga businesses are also affected. Therefore, our economy is also affected. So, ba pag ganyan na mangyayari, abang bumaba yung shares, tumataas yung shares, na, abang bumaba yung price per share, tumataas yung shares na nabili mo. Okay? On the fourth month, on the 5th month, tumaas, bumalik sa 7. On the 6th month, bumalik sa 10. What if ganyan ang scenario? Let's see how many shares nabili mo lahat. 85.25 times 10, 852.50 minus 600, kumita ka ng 252.50. Kung na-observe mo yung letter A, mas malaki yung kita ng letter B. Dahil nung bumagsak, 
Mas marami kang nabiling shares. Let's see, letter C. Le let's check letter C. Okay, nagsimula sa 10 ulit, bumagsag sa 5, 3, naging 1. Try to observe yung month number 4. 1 peso per share. 100 pesos lang ating example na nilagay na pera. But if 1 million nilagay mo? Magkano shares? O ilang shares mabili mo? 1 million shares. What if on the 5th month naging 2 pesos? So 1 million shares times 2, that's 2 million. Okay? So ganun yun. That's why the rich are getting richer because they know when and where to invest. Okay? So on the 6 months, bumalik sa 5 pero hindi na bumalik sa 10. I-total mo lahat ng shares, 235 shares times 5, that's 1,175 minus 600, that's 575. So compare letter A, B, and C. Ang C yung pinakamalaki dahil nung bumaba, bumulusok pa baba, mas marami siyang shares na bili at naglagay siya ng pera. Take note, kung ang tanong, when I should invest more, you know the answer. When the time that the economy is going down, that's the time that you need to invest more. Normally kasi baligtad, pagpataas yung economy, doon naman yung maghahabol, mag invest Dapat pag bumaba, dyan ka mag invest ng todo. Kaya, importante, pag there's a down market, dapat magtitipid ka. Dapat huwag ka masyadong gumasto. Dahil, mas marami kang shares mabili pag bumaba yung market. Okay? Hopefully, nakuha natin. Ganun lang ka-simple yun. Okay? If you hire a financial planner, they make it complicated. So, don't hire someone. Just understand these things. Now, Ang stock market, nag-up, nag-down. So, normal lang yun. Actually, hindi risky yung pag-up, pag-up, tsaka yung nag-down. The greatest risk is when it's going up and you are not part of that growth. Alright? Kasi nung bumaba, hindi ka nag-invest. Again, ulitin ko ha. The greatest risk of all is nakarealize ka nung, nung tumaas na yung market, hindi ka nakasakay ng bumaba. Yun yung pinakamatinding regret. Matinding pagsisisi. Ngayon pa lang, if you understand yung discussion na ito, dapat mag-isip ka na na mag-start ka na immediately. na ito naman yung mga companies, okay, na top 5 companies, okay, 6 na yan silang ngayon, na top mutual fund companies in the Philippines. Okay? And they are partners of ING. Like I said, you can go direct sa mga companies na ito, hindi ka nadadaan sa agents. Halimbawa, si Phil Equity, Saan ba nag invest sa Phil Equity? Sabi mo si Phil Equity ay mutual fund. Saan ba niya in-invest yung pera? Ayan, tingnan mo dyan sa top 10 holdings. Nakalista dyan sa kaliwa. I mean, dyan sa baba. Sa pangalan ni Phil Equity. Nandyan sila Nickel Asia, Universal Rubina Co., Philippine Long Distance, name it. Those are popular companies. So, hindi ka matatakot sa yung investment. Kahit nilagay mo siya sa mutual fund kasi alam mo, yung pera mo, dinidiversify nila doon sa iba't ibang malalaking companies. Okay. Si Phil Equity nagsimula siya noong 1995 at 1 peso per share. Imagine na lang, naintindihan mo ito noong 1995 at meron kang malaking pera. Ang price niya ngayon nasa 36, 37. Just try to do, uh, just do the math. Magkano na ang kita mo? Kung meron kang 1 million noong 1995, ang price ngayon na 37, meron ka ng 37 million. Walang kaya for the effort, inantay mo lang siya. Ganun yung tinatawag na long-term investment. Okay? So, depende yan sa price. Now, what if Earl win? Yung nangyari noong 2008, marami bang yung mga manon? Actually, marami. Ang presyo noong 2008 sa Phil Equity is 13 pesos, beginning of the year. Since nagkaroon ng recession, bumagsak na yung economy. Bumagsak din yung price. From 13, naging 7. Ang bagsak niya, negative 40. Pero nung after one year naman, noong 2009, December 29, Naging 13 pesos ulit. So, pumalik siya at positive 65. Umabot siya 105 to 106% ang tubo ng kanyang pera. So, again, sabi ko nga, kung may pera ka noong 2008, mayaman ka na sana after one year. Pero pag wala ka nilagay noon, eh, wala din namang effect sa'yo. Pero again, kung naintindihan mo ngayon, ang iniisip mo siguro ngayon, sayang. Sana naintindihan ko noong 2000, 2008. Okay? So, hindi natin ibalik yun. Wala na tayong magagawa doon. Ito na lang ang isipin natin. Merong isang kumpanya or mutual fund, ang pangalan niya ay Soldivo. Ang price niya is below 1 peso. Ibig sabihin, hindi ka magantay ng sobrang baba dahil mababa na talaga ang simula niya. So, I would encourage you to start investing in this company. Isang partner siya ni IMG, ito yung pinaka-hot mutual fund company right now sa Philippines kasi ang kanyang price ay napakamura. So Erwin, paano ko i-monitor yung lahat ng mga investment na yun na sabi mo? Okay? You can go to this website. 
bifa.com.ph and click mo yung facts and figures, you will see the performance every day. You can even see yung netawag na NAV, net asset value per share. You can see it dyan sa, ano, no? yung, yung sa left side, okay? yung sa pinakauna na section. Kung titignan mo si Soldivo, ang kanyang price is 0.87. Talagang bumagsak ngayon, pababa. Alright? So, you don't have to worry kung paano mo i-monitor yung investment. You don't have to worry kung nawawala siya. Or hindi. Kasi nandyan yan sa mga website na yan. Hindi ka na dapat pumunta doon sa Makati or Philippine Stock Exchange to monitor. Another thing is itong si Rumpverd.com. Si Rumpverd is also a partner of IMG. Sila naman ang nagmo-monitor sa mga partners ng mga mutual fund companies. You can even download the form sa website na yan. Okay? Kung gusto mo magsimula na sa investments. Lahat lang ng forms idaan mo kay IMG. Okay? Explain ko yan bakit. Now, let's talk about 2016. Yung news nung January na babagsak yung economy. Maybe because of many aspects. Na una, yung sa presidential election. So maraming tao natatakot. Baka magbago ang presidente. Anong mangyari sa ating country. So maraming mga aspeto. So maraming mga investors nag-withdraw ng kanilang investments. So affected yung ating economy. Now, ang tanong, magandang balita ba yan na bumagsak ngayon ka namin? Of course. Like I said kanina, pag nag-down ang market, it's a, it's a greater opportunity to invest more money in the stock market. Sabi ng ating mentor, no, and also the mentor or of brother Bo Sanchez, which is Noel Anadilia, sabi niya, stocks are now at a bargain level. One of the best times to invest. This is what we've been waiting for. So make sure to invest more. Advise your family and friends. They will appreciate you in the coming years. And I'll tell you, if you do that, and if you understand now, and you start immediately, I promise you, in the next few years, your family will be happy and they will appreciate you. Naginawa mo yun. Pero kung hindi mo gagawin for the next 10 years, I bet your life will still be the same. You keep working for the money for the rest of your life. Why not work for, let your money work for you starting right now? Kahit pa konti-konti, start at 5,000. Tapos after 5,000, minimum 1,000 pesos. Okay? So hopefully it's clear and hopefully nag-sink in sa inyong mind and inyong heart na talagang importante itong investments. However, may tiyatawag na emergency fund. In case the market goes down, kailangan mo ng pera. Sabi nga, hindi ka dapat kukuha ng pera, kundi maglagay ka ng maraming pera. Kailangan mo ng emergency fund na pang araw, -araw mong gastusin. Okay, mabili ng pagkain mo, bayad sa bills, school sa mga bata, kailangan at least 3 to 6 months of your income, pwede mo siyang i-save sa banko. Ang tawag dyan, emergency fund. Okay, again, ang formula is 3, 6 months or 12 months, it's called emergency fund. That's your goal. In case naman, maulang ang trabaho, repair sa kotse kasi kailangan mo sa trabaho, or sa negosyo, medical emergencies, kinulang yung healthcare mo, uh, may mga kailangan ayusin sa bahay, so, ang gamit ay emergency fund. Again, investment is not an emergency fund. Investment or emergency fund is separate from your investments. Now, like I said, dapat kumpleto yung six areas or six na foundation in building your financial future. Okay? In, to have peace of mind, siguraduhin mo na kumpleto yung six areas. From ground zero, increasing your cash flow to healthcare, life insurance, eliminate your debt, emergency fund, then investment. Now, bakit natin i-discuss yung ibang mga aspeto ng financial plan? Kasi ang buhay ay napakaikli lamang. The day will come, you will retire. And you might realize, sayang, mali pala yung ginawa ko. So, sa buhay, may tinatawag na timeline, no? Nung pinanganak ka, tapos after nun, maki ka na, nag-aral ka, nagtatrabaho ka, nagkaroon ka ng pamilya, tawag doon productive years, in preparation for your retirement years. Sa retirement years, dapat nag enjoy ka na sa buhay, hindi ka na nagtatrabaho. Pero, base sa statistics, only 2% are financially independent when they grow old. 23% are still working, 30% dependent on charity, and 45% dependent on their children. Now, my question to you, Saan ka pagdating ng retirement? Okay? This is a fast-changing world and people need to know also the new solutions for a changing world. So, to increase cash flow and to, or to prepare for your retirement, 
we need to understand that before a parent could raise 12 children. Okay? Kasi wala pa naman plano, ang daming anak, no? Ang trabaho ng tatay, maintenance guy or driver. No, kayang buhayin yung mga anak. Kasi mas mura naman ang bilihin dati. Ngayon, ang 12 na anak, ka na-trace a parent. Minsan, ang nanay, tatay, pinagpasapasahan na lang ng dosing anak. Maraming anak, pero hindi kayang buhayin si nanay, si tatay. Anong reason? Kasi sila din, walang preparation. Kanilang budget, kulang din. Pag nagkasakit si tatay, siyempre, pinagtutulakan na lang ng mga anak. Nay, or tay, mas favorite mo si ano, di ba? Doon ka muna. Namimiss ka na nila, o, di ba? Pag may pera naman, tay, dito ka na. Namimiss ka na ng mga apo mo. Lab na lab ka nila, o, di ba? Pasyal naman tayo tayo sa park, o, di ba? So, mas niyayaya mo dahil may pera. Pero pag walang pera, tinataboy mo. Hindi naman ikaw, ah. Because I don't know you personally. Kaya sabi kong you, I mean, kadalasan tao, pag tumanda yung mga nanay at tatay nila, pag walang pera, talagang kawawa. Before, only the father worked could raise 12 children. But today, a couple both working can hardly raise one child. So, yung importante, no? Ang financial planning talaga. Especially to the OFWs. Now, let me talk to the OFWs. Ikaw, na itatrabaho ka. Iniwan mo yung pamilya mo para mas malaki ang kita mo compare dito sa Philippines. Kung hindi naman din naturuan yung financial planning, yung mga nasa Philippines, pwede rin maubos yung pera mo. Kaya maraming mga OFW umuwi na bangkarote. Also, nag-invest. Nagkamali din, na-scam, ubos din ng pera. So for the next 10, 20 years, pabalik-balik na lang sa abroad. Kaya ako, kung ako ang tanongin ninyo, kaya ako mag-abroad because I know ang pera nandito sa Philippines. Pero just in case, nandyan ka na sa abroad, nakikinig ngayon, tapos gusto mong umuwi na sa iyong family as soon as possible, I challenge you to start your financial plan. Don't worry, we will assist you and help you with your financial plan through our program sa IMG, which is Wealth Academy. So another thing, bakit ubus-ubus yung pera? People spend faster today compared dati. Dati ang laro, patintero, saranggula, piko, sungka. Okay lang, di ba? Kunti lang ang bayad. But today, may raming gadgets. So, lalaki lalo yung bill. Mas mahal pa yung mga gadgets. I'm not saying, because ako ngayon nagtitraining, gumagamit ako ng gadgets, pero for money making, for my own business. Pero pag ginamit mo yung mga gadgets, mga laro-laro lang, wala namang perang pumapasok dahil dyan. It's just useless. Okay? So, to increase also your cash flow, importante yung tamang formula. Kahit ka naman nag i eh, pero pag mali rin naman yung formula mo sa pag-increase ng cash flow, pwede rin affected yung yung investments. So that's why, pagdating ng income, kung ang lumabas agad ay puro expenses, wala talagang matira dyan, kaya trabaho ng trabaho ka pa rin. Paulit-ulit na lang yan. Okay? Wala kang masisave for the next 10-20 years kung ganyan ang yung formula. Pay yourself first. Ito yung tamang formula, no? Income minus tithing. Actually, before you shall pay the Lord first. This is biblical. 10% tithing. 20% savings. Remaining 70% will be expenses. So, 20% yan yung ibabayad mo sa sarili mo. In case of emergency. Okay? And for your retirement, dyan makukunin yung yung investments. Kung ang 70% na tira, 70% expenses, kung kaya mo rin naman 50% lang yung expenses, at least may 20% pa pang dagdag doon sa iyong investments. So follow the right formula. Whether college graduate ka or hindi, professional ka or hindi, mayaman ka or hindi ngayon, follow the formula. I promise you, you will be in the right direction. Limbawa, Erwin, sinagad talaga ako. Pero uminom ka ba ng soft drinks araw-araw? Kung uminom ka ng soft drinks araw-araw, pwede mo siyang tanggalin. Okay? Remember, wants versus needs. Ang wants gusto, ang needs kailangan. Ang soft drinks, hindi mo naman siguro kailangan sa katawan mo. Hindi mo naman siguro kailangan. Hindi ka naman mamatay kung wala yan. Okay? Kung tinanggal mo yan, ang annual cost yan is $21,600. Monthly cost, $1,800. If you know how to invest in the mutual fund at an average rate of 12%, after 35 years, you will have $5.8 million. Soft drinks lang tinanggal mo sa buhay mo. Again, Financial planning is about discipline. Increasing your cash flow is about discipline. Kung hindi naman 5.8 million ang gusto mo, dahil ayaw mo mag-sacrifice, you might get diabetes pag dating ng araw. Huwag naman, alright? So, prevention is better than cure. So, there's what we call the wealth calculator. 
So, kung marami kang na-save, marami kang ma-invest. So, halimbawa na lang, no, pag save ka or save ng 5,000 per month at 12% per year, after 30 years, that's 15.2 million. Okay? Ulitin ko, ha? 5,000 per month at 12% per year growth, compounding interest. After 30 years, that's 15.2 million. Siguradong marami kang pera 30 years after pag-start ka ng mas maaga. Pero Erwin, kulang na, kulang na ang time ko eh. Kunti na lang eh. Pwede bang bilisan? Wow, gusto mo 5 years. If you want to get 5 million after 5 years, kailangan ka mag-save ng 50,000 per month for the next 5 years. Again, sabihin ko sa inyo, time is very important. Kung, kung ang nakikinig ngayon ay bata ka pa, invest more, invest early. Si Warren Buffett, the second richest man in the world noong 2010, sabi niya, I start investing at age 11. I even started too late. Di ba? Ang feeling niya, too late na 11 years old. Kung nakikinig ka sa akin ngayon, 40, 50 years old ka na ngayon, I'll tell you, it's very late. However, since buhay ka pa naman, meron ka pang mga anak na pwede mong turuan nito para mas mapabilis ang growth ng iyong money, dapat lakihan mo yung, lakihan mo yung iyong investments. Ganun lang yun. Pero may iba magsasabi, Erwin, pag nag-retire na ako, doon ako mag-invest. I actually, that's that's too late. Baka pag nag-retire ka, yung pera, pera na yan, na retirement money mo, baka pambayad lang din sa utang. Wala ka pang discipline, naubos yan. Problema, kadalas ang nag-retire at age 60, kakuha ng retirement money, ubos na at age 65, nabuhay pa for many years. Di ba, nabuhay siya until age 90. Meron pa siyang ano, no? Karoon pa siyang 25 years suffering. No? Wala na siyang pera. Marami siyang gastusin, maintenance, pagkain niya. Tapos pinagpasapasahan pa sa ng mga anak. Ngayon palang pag-isipan natin. Yung training na ito, hindi to for entertainment purposes. This is something to do with your own personal decision if you want to be financially free. Ako, I've learned this training 10 years ago. Kaya tinuturo ko sa inyo because I realized Na talagang this is very important. This can even save lives. This can even save your next generation. Kaya huwag niyong hayaan na hindi niyo maintindihan ito. Kung nalilito ka sa mga explanation ko dahil maraming numbers, okay lang kasi pwede mo naman akong i-chat, pwede mo rin akong tawagan, pag-usapan natin yung mga questions mo. Like I said, this is just a pre-orientation. Hindi mo makukuha ito lahat. Pwede mo makuha lahat Pero kung hindi ka masyadong focus, pwedeng malilito ka. Now, I have a quick question for you. This is a personal question. If you lose your income today, how many years can you survive? Let me repeat that. If you lose your income today, how many years can you survive? In Tagalog, pag nawalan ka ng income ngayon, sa araw na ito, mawalan ka ng trabaho bigla or mabankrap yung negosyo mo, ilang years yung pamilya mo magsusurvive? If your answer is, I don't know, Kailangan. Kailangan mo maganda. Baka bigla kang mawalan ng trabaho. Hindi ka pa nakapag-invest. Hindi ka pa nakapag-save. Bila ka nawalan ng trabaho. Anong gagawin ko, Erwin? Okay? That's why it's very important to provide yourself with healthcare. In case magsakit ka bigla. That's why kadalasan naman sa mga kumpanya, nagbibigay sila, sila sa inyo ng card. Ang tawag doon healthcare. On top of PhilHealth. PhilHealth is a discount. So yung card na binibigyan nila, ang tawag doon healthcare. Just in case, Kasakit ka, mayroon ka pang bayad dyan oh, sa private hospital. Pag wala ka namang healthcare, ayan, happy together. Kasama yung ibang may sakit. Isang bed lang kayo, dikit-dikit kayo. Masaya naman kasi marami kayo. Pero ang tanong dyan, totoo ba talagang masaya? Okay? Marami na nga ano, yung katabi mo, patay na, hindi nila alam. So, mura, pero mapamura ka rin sa kulang ng servisyo at facility. Yung sa kabila, sa private room, mahal. Maramdaman mo rin naman yung pagmamahal. So kaya, hindi lang investment ha, ang preparation. Kailangan mo rin ng healthcare. So to know more about that, may separate discussion tayo about that. So buy yourself a long-term healthcare also while you are still young and healthy in preparation for your old age. Kasi ang sakit doon lumabas pag, 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 pagtandaan natin. Kaya tandaan mo, get a long-term healthcare. Pagdating naman sa insurance, ganito naman ang role ng insurance. Habang nagtatrabaho ka, okay, habang... May business ka, gusto mo family mo, pupunta doon. Sa luxury or comfort, bigla ka namang nawala, kawawa naman sila. Kaya dalawa ang meron ka dapat. As breadwinner, meron ka dapat healthcare, meron ka rin insurance. Pag in case nawala ka, 
hindi sila kawawa. Hindi sila mapunta doon sa kahirapan. Kasi una, nung nagkasakit ka, hindi sila nagkakautang dahil sa iyo. Kasi meron ka nang preparation, meron ka ng healthcare. Pag natuluyan ka naman at namatay, meron din silang matatanggap na pera. Kadalasan, 1 million or 2 million in case you die by accident. Kaya it will be better pag namatay ka aksidente para doble yung matanggap nila. Pero mas maganda, huwag muna mamatay. Okay? Mas maganda mag-invest muna ng todo. Just in case lang, anything happens to you, kaya kailangan mo ng healthcare, kailangan mo rin ng insurance. So kung meron ka ng healthcare insurance at nakuha mo yan, pero hindi mo naintindihan, it's now time to understand it more. And you will appreciate kung ano yung mga kinukuha mo. Okay? So, there are two lines in our life, no? This is what we call the X-curve concept. The line going down is our responsibility line. The line going up is our savings line. So, since dalawang problema sa buhay, pagdating sa financial plan, you need to address both. What if you die too soon? Sino ang kawawa? Yung naiwan or yung namatay? Basically, yung naiwan. Kaya ang iyak ng mayaman at mahirap pagkakaiba. Hagulgul ang iyak ng mga mayahirap. Pag mayaman naman, medyo matamis ang kanilang luha kasi maraming iniwan. May insurance, mayroong property, maraming kotse, maraming bahay. Ay talagang masaya yung mga naiwan. What if naman ang buhay ka ng maaba? Ikaw rin naman ang kawawa pag wala kang preparation. So in financial planning, you need to decrease your responsibility, increase your savings. So that the day will come, your money will be working for you. Not you working for the money anymore. Okay? So now, before we'll end, let me just emphasize about managing your debt. Okay? If you want to manage your debt, you need to be committed to pay off your debt. For richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, till death do us part. Right? Marami kaya nag-iiwalay dahil sa utak. Maraming naluloko dahil sa utak. Maraming na-stress dahil sa utak. So if utang is not good for you, get out of that. Right? Remember, in richer or for poorer, for better or for worse, in sickness and in health, the death do us part. If your desire for riches is strong enough, you need to work hard and endure the process and follow the pattern of success. As you can see, the list of these billionaires, sa Forbes, okay, no? Tawag sa kanila, Filipino billionaires, but actually, saan ba talaga ang original na Filipino dyan? Di ba, mostly are Chinese, mostly are foreigners, all right? Naging Filipino lang sila, naging dual citizen. But actually, there's no pure Filipino there. Hopefully, you will be the first Filipino that will be a billionaire. No, I'm part of these guys. If we don't know their secret, their pattern, we cannot be one of them. Okay? Sabi ni Brother Bo Sanchez, who is also our mentor and a member of IMG, sabi niya, money doesn't buy happiness, but money buys freedom. So these people listed in the top 10 richest men in the Philippines have freedom. They have financial freedom. So kung religious ka, may ilig ka tumulong sa ibang tao, wala ka pang problema sa pera, eh makatulong ka naman sa mabuti sa ibang tao. Pero gusto mo tumulong sa iba, wala ka naman pera, eh, hindi ka rin makagalaw. So lahat kayo kailangan ng tulong. Kaya naiiniwala ako sa sinabi ni Brother Bo Sanchez. Hindi mo mabili yung happiness. Pero the money... You give the money you you produce na ginamit sa pamilya mo, sa church, it can bring many people to be happy. Okay? So money is a tool to be happy. It might not buy happiness. Sabi nila, well, money is evil. The love of money is evil. Not money. Money is a good servant, but it's a bad master. But I'll tell you, the lack of money has done more evil than the love of money. I would love to have more money because I want to help many people. I want to have my own foundation. I want to, to help poor people. I want to build, you know, the kingdom of God by giving more tithes and offerings. So now, let's talk about the system of the wealthy. Henry C. is the richest man in the Philippines. Meron siyang SM, maraming SM. Don't you know na siya rin may ari ng sarili niyang banko? You put money in the bank and the bank invests your money in the stock market. Remember? Kung ano yung discussion natin kanina? Kaya si Henry C. tuloy-tuloy ang kanyang pagyaman. Kasi marami siyang pundo. Maraming pundo ang video. The number one bank in the Philippines. Okay? Kailangan din naman niya ng insurance sa kanyang sarili, sa pamilya, sa kanyang negosyo, sa kanyang malls, building, kotse. Gumawa rin siya ng sarili niyang insurance company, which is Generali Pilipinas. 
kailangan niya din niya ng developer, nandiyan din si SMDC. So siya ang may-ari lahat niyan, kaya ayumaman lalo siya. Ganon din si Ayala. May-ari ng Ayala Mall, si Ayala. May-ari ng kanyang bangko, BPI, si Ayala. May-ari ng insurance company, Ayala Life, siya din. Kailangan niya ng developer, nandiyan din si Ayala lang. Kaya the, richer are, the rich are getting richer, the poor are getting poorer. Kasi ang mahirap, masakit man tanggapin, walang sistema. Pero yung mayayaman, meron silang sistema. They know what to do. That's why, that's why they, they, they're getting richer each and every day sa kanilang buhay. Now, since I'm representing IMG, let me tell you the benefit of being an IMG member. And I'm proud to say that for the past 10 years, it's, in, it's getting better every day and I'm getting excited every day of my life because IMG provides me a pathway or a pattern on how to follow the pattern of the wealthy. As an IMG member, I can connect with the direct companies, the financial industry companies in the Philippines from healthcare, insurance, investment, real estate, general insurance, allied services, name it, para akong SM. I'm a one-stop shop broker or expert. If I want to get my own healthcare, insurance, investments, hindi na ako pupunta sa agents. I can go directly to these companies. All right? You get what I mean? So you have a direct access to these big companies in the Philippines. So minsan may magtatanong, Erwin, baka scam si IMG. Ang sagot ko na lang, tanongin mo na lang si SMDC, Ayala Land, Sun Life, Soldivo, Kaiser. Those companies who are partnered with IMG, ang tanong, bakit sila nagjo-join? Bakit sila nagpag-partner? Kaya IMG. Okay? Something to think about. Now, why should you join IMG? Because you are joining a big company that has a direct access to those companies na mga popular. If you want to build your financial future. Kasi mostly kasi, kung saan bumili ng product like healthcare insurance, dadaan ka sa agents. I'm not against the agents. I'm, I'm just saying, if you can be an agent to yourself, it would be better. Kasi minsan, pag gumawa ako sa agent, eh siyempre, ang trabaho nila, they're selling products. Okay? Pag hindi mo maintindihan, you are blaming them. Why would you blame them if that is your own life? So it would be better to understand it yourself. That's why kung may pumalpak man, eh, don't, don't blame other people. Just blame yourself. So that hindi mo i-blame yung sarili mo pagdating ng araw, it is very important to understand these things. Kaya in IMG, when you join IMG, there's a lifetime membership and at the same time, lifetime training. Tuloy-tuloy. So kaya, ang sabi ko kanina, isa sa expectations mo sa training na ito is if you will become a member of IMG, there will be a guaranteed financial education because that is part of your membership. Going gang expert. Okay? I know you're in the right place at the right time. All you need to do is the right thing. So get started now. Whether you're ready or not, the details of your path will never be totally clear unless you start acting. You don't know what you're capable of doing until you try. There are unlimited excuses in this world to justify your laziness. Remember, 10 years from now, you either make a lot of money or make a lot of excuses. It doesn't matter whether you know me or not. What matters is the things that I'm teaching to you today, that you will apply it. Okay? Because there's high cost of waiting. Try to compare the three scenarios. Now, Mr. Save Early, Mr. Save uh, Wait Longer, and Mr. Catch Up. So save Early. Naintindihan niya agad how to invest, how to build his financial future. Start siya ngayon sa investment. 20000 per year for the next six years. Lahat ng na-invest niya is 120000 So, sabi natin kanina, ang investment nagko-compound. Okay? It depende kung gaano kahaba yung panahon. So, mahaba ang panahon na inaantay niya pagdating ng age 60, yung kanyang pera naging 5.4 million. Okay? So, Mr. Wait Longer naman, sumunod siya after 6 years pa. Same amount of money, same amount of time, pero nag-delay lang siya ng 6 years. Ang pera niya is 2.7 lang. Si Mr. Cash Up, Gusto niyang habulin si Mr. Save Early, nakahabol siya, naging 5.3 million din. Pero mas marami siyang perang nilagay sa investments compared doon kay Mr. Save Early. So time is your ally. If you understand these things, if you have some money to start, start. Okay? I encourage you immediately to start. Again, 
time waits to no one. Okay, the value of time is so important. Okay, katulad nito, ito yung wealth calculator. So, madedetermine mo kung kailan ka pwede mag-retire. Gusto mo mag-retire 5 years from now to get 4 million, you know how to get it. Just put 50,000 per year for the next 5 years, you will get 4 million or more. Same is true for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. So, gusto mo mas malaki pa yung pera mo, wait wait longer. Okay? I mean, not wait longer to invest. I mean, invest more, tapos antayin mo, palaguin mo yung pera mo sa matagal na panahon. Someone is sitting in the shade today because someone planted a tree a long time ago. Bakit yung mga mayayaman, yung kanilang mga anak ay nagre ng rewards or tasted the fruit ng sacrifice ng kanilang parents or grandparents? Ibig sabihin man, automatic nandyan yan. Hindi. Someone sacrificed for them. Ganon din. If your grandparents or parents are not rich and you want to be rich, sino magsasacrifice for you? Hindi ba ikaw? Di ba tayo? So, tayo. Tayo ang magpa-plan ng tree. And our children, children's children, will benefit of the shade and the fruits na ating, ano na, na uh, yung tree, at saka matikman nila yung fruit ng tree na ating tinanin. Another quotation. The best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. No, the second best time is now. Not tomorrow and not later. It's now. If you don't do it now, if you will not do it now, a year from now, you may wish you had started today. Marami akong kausap. Tinuruan ko dito. Minentor ko. Ang sabi sa akin, Erwin, ang daya mo naman. Dapat 10 years ago, sabay sana tayo. Ba't hindi mo ako pinilit? Ba't hindi mo ako kinulit? Sabi ko, I'm sorry. Hindi ako ganun kakulit eh. Sabihin ko sa iyo, start ka na ngayon. Kasi 10 years later, baka ganun ang sasabihin mo. Sana. Sana. Nagsimula ko 10 years ago. Okay? It's not easy to do financial plan. What matters is, you understand yung principles nating naiintindihan. Ang mga paano, paano yung monitor, madali na lang yun. Mapag-usapan natin yan. Eh. Kasali sa tingis yan. And last but not the least, this is my final message. You cannot go back and make a brand new, a brand new start or brand new beginning. But you can start now and make a brand new ending. Kung gusto mo, before you leave this life or before you grow old and you want your ending to be different compared to your grandparents, again, start now.